But about 250 elderly persons in Meduguri, the capital of Borno State, have benefited from food and cash assistance courtesy of Nigeria's First Lady, Senator Oluremi Tinubu. The gesture is part of the Renewed Hope Initiative aimed at providing economic empowerment and health care services to the elderly. Jesse Tafida reports. 65 years and above are those seated in this hall. Help has come their way from Nigeria's first lady, Senator Oluremi Tinubu. She was represented by the wife of the Borno State Governor, Falmat Zulum. The initiative has earmarked a total of 950 million naira to be shared to the beneficiaries across the country. This economic empowerment program is born out of a steadfast commitment to the well-being of our elderly citizens and it marks a significant stride in our collective pursuit of a more inclusive and compassionate society. We are committed to ensuring that each state receives this gesture without discrimination. As we approach the festive season, it becomes very important to emphasize the significance of prioritizing our elderly citizens in our initiatives. The state government is thankful to the First Lady of Nigeria and her Renewed Hope Initiative for making impact. Equally gave each of the beneficiaries a bag of rice and most importantly a medical outreach is ongoing right now where the elderly are diagnosed of um, illnesses that are mostly related with people of their age. It is an agenda of the Renewed Hope Initiative where the elderly citizens occupy a very uh, big space in governance and reaping from the dividends of democracy. Each beneficiary takes home the sum of 100,000 naira and food items. Dudu Gobe is among the selected 250 beneficiaries. There was no government that ever remember any retired or old people who has been uh, devastated by all this type of Boko Haram uh, insurgency. Among the beneficiaries are people living with disabilities, weeders, retirees and the downtrodden. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.